Now, everyone loves to have an opinion about our national tourism campaigns, and they often seem to be controversial, don't they? Remember when we didn't like Paul Hogan calling a prawn a shrimp, or when we thought that Lara Bingle's language was just a little too florid? Well, now there's a new word game, promoting our friendliness and laid-back nature. Tourism Australia's new campaign talks about our philosophy, spelled with an A-U-S instead of an O-S, and the ads show everyone exactly what they mean. When you're in Australia, you sort of feel confident you can say good day to someone. I say good day, mate, to about 40 people a day. <laughs> We're a pretty cruisy bunch, I think, most of the time. Being able to laugh at each other, laugh at ourselves. <laughs> I think that gives us the ability to have a smile on our face most days. I mean, fair enough, right? Beaches, kangaroos, friendly people. It makes sense to me. That's exactly why tourists come to this country. But as you know, the woke warriors of the left, they can't stand anything that seems patriotic or homespun. The Guardian and its editor, Lenore Taylor, are asking if this is the worst ad campaign ever and talking about beautiful one day, pitiful the next. ABC reporter Andy Park went with the leftist groupthink, saying, Bingles, where the bloody hell are you? Now looks pretty good by comparison. And Nine Newspapers' Latika Burke talks about our attempts to sell our culture and declaring that, God, this is bad, so kitsch. Ah, oh, well, each to their own, of course. Some are going to like the ads, some won't. The important question is whether or not they work and bring tourists here. But it's funny, isn't it, how the self-important globalists find kangaroos, beaches and saying good day all a bit cringeworthy. Perhaps we should all dress in black and sip grass shakes and listen to Greta Thunberg urging everyone to come to Australia before it dries out or is swamped by the oceans or whatever the scare of the day might be.